Good morning, Destiny, and I hope you're all well out there. Welcome to the channel Tools of Destiny. We're looking at all the various things you can use to improve your time in the game. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about Destiny Item Manager, or DIM, and specifically just the basics. So nothing particularly complicated. If you've used it before, you might want to jump to the next video because we are really talking about some pretty simple stuff. But if you don't know anything about it, it's not simple, right? So the first thing to do is you head over to destinyitemmanager.com. Uh, there's two versions, the beta or the normal one. We're going to do the normal one, and you need to connect it to your account. So depending on how you use Bungie, Steam, PlayStation, etc., click on that. And then you go through some authentication stuff. I'm not going to type my username and password here on the screen because that would be a massive mistake. So once you've logged in, you'll end up seeing something a bit like this. It'll take a little while to load. Uh, and if you've got multiple characters, you'll see them across here. Um, we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to hide them. There's a little couple of arrows here. So this is my most, well, my most recently used character. Uh, and I'm just going to show you a few things as to why you might want to use DIM in the first place. Uh, first thing, the Postmaster. This is what I've got in my Postmaster. Please don't judge. Um, you can drag and drop these. So let's just say I'm like, actually, I could do with, uh, let me make a little bit of space there. Um, let me say I needed uh, just drop this and somebody wasn't looking after his general keeping on top of stuff. So as I drag this over here, uh, that father sins comes out of my postmaster and goes onto my character. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like in game. Um, please excuse the outfit. I haven't really thought about this particularly. Um, so the reason you might want to use it, the first one, pulling stuff from the poster. The second thing, uh, you probably kind of saw it there, it's just the drag and drop nature of everything. Uh, you don't have to be anywhere. You can get stuff from your vault onto your character from anywhere. You can do it mid-activity if things aren't locked. In fact, you can do it mid-activity if things are locked. The only problem with that is you won't be able to equip them, obviously, because that's not how things work. So, jumping back into the game. This is me. This is my Warlock. Um, and that father of sins I just got there has just popped up there. So if I go back into dim uh, and let me make a little space. This is classic me trying to keep space. So I can see I'm pretty much at full vault, full characters, full everything. I need to do some work to look after stuff. I'm going to pretend it's so that you can see how you can get control of your setup easily. So I made a couple of spaces there. Um, and then those will literally have come off my character. So if we jump back over to Destiny, you can see they've gone there. But let's just say I'm playing, um, I don't know, some sort of end game activity and I desperately need my Wither Horde. So in the background here, I'm going to drag Wither Horde onto my character. And what you'll see here, I couldn't even shift quick enough to show you. Wither Horde is there, ready to rock and roll. I could equip it, except of course I can't because I have two exotics. There you go. And you can drag into that exotic slot if you're in space. Second thing, when you're out of the game, oh, this all works completely out of the game as well. Um, so you don't need to be in game to do these things. You can prep stuff before you arrive, maybe secretly whilst you're on the couch, before you get up to play, uh, maybe whilst you're at work. I'm not condoning this activity. I definitely don't do it, but you can imagine it, right? Um, it's search. So let's say I'd forgotten, where did I put my absolutely fantastic Wither Horde? So by typing in Wither Horde, I get name Wither Horde, and it highlights it here. So it's quite easy for me to find something, or if we're talking about something like the Sanguine Alchemy, I can see, oh, can't spell it, but I can see, there's the two items. So I've got one in my Postmaster, and I've got one down here, which brings me nicely onto the last um, section, which is kind of understanding what kind of gear you've got. So if I click on one of those, I can actually compare them and I'll get to see both of those pieces of armor. I'll get to see what the stats are. Nice, easy to compare. Blue for best. Um, so this has got a much better resilience, recovery, discipline roll. Overall, it's a 66. Um, the difference in light is three. So I'm not going to bother infusing this one probably. But this new roll is probably going to get junked. Although 26 strength, you can see why I have too much stuff in my vault. And lastly, when you're talking about weapons, the great people at DIM are pulling in various theory crafters roles and information. So you can see these little thumbs up here. So this this role here particularly is considered a god role by somebody. It's Panda Paxi. He reckons this is good whether you're on mouse and keyboard or controller for PvE. 
a little bit of information about why it's in there um, and what the specific perks you would pick to get that god roll. Uh, I don't care because in this particular instance I'm just going to craft a good one of those because I finally got enough patterns for come to pass. And there's lots of other things you can do to see. You can see the, you know, all of the arc ones. So if you want to see all your arc weapons, that's a quick way to get your arc highlighted. You're looking for an arc bow. Is colon bow. So that's highlight everything that is arc and is bow. But we'll do some more stuff on a more advanced searching um, later on. Um, in another video. Hopefully that has been of useful or of use to some of you. And if it's the kind of thing that you're interested in, you know how it works. I want people to do the whole, I can't even bring myself to say it, but you know, if you want to do that, it's appreciated. Anyway, have a great rest of your day.